Okay, this one's going to go to Max. So you guys can thank Max for this little video inspiration. He asked me about the three methods or the three mistakes that people typically make when it comes to talking about studying, right? The three big studying mistakes, right? And those are reading, highlighting, and summarizing, right? Reading, let me explain what these are first of all. Reading is where you just read through a textbook or a text, maybe you're studying physics or chemistry or whatever, and you just read it through, right? And the common theme with all of these is that they feel like studying, right? These all feel like you're doing work. They feel productive. They feel like you're studying. They feel like you're doing something to do with study. They feel productive, right? But because it's easy, right? And this is the big reason. Because it's easy, it doesn't stay in your mind. It doesn't stick, right? And by the way, these methods have been proven by studies, they've been shown that they're not effective. Yet they're the most popular for some reason, right? If I can summarize all of these, they're very popular methods, but they are also the least effective. If you want to read a book, effective, I'm not sure if that's the right spelling, effective, affective. There is a book that I have called Make It Stick. We have an old school book right now, a very boring cover, I have to say, but it's got a lot of like, if you can read the authors there, these are all like scientific researchers, right? Who've like collaborated and wrote this book and it, all the kind of research and studies are there to show you that this stuff is not effective, right? This is the stuff that you should eliminate from your studying routine and it's tempting to slip back into it, even if you know this stuff. So please, for the love of God, stop doing this stuff, right? So reading, reading through a textbook, it feels like there's information going into your brain, but it doesn't stay, okay, because it's just, it just, it's easy, right? Your brain, what are you tested on? Are you tested on your ability to read? No, right? You're not tested on this. You're, you're tested on your ability to answer a question, and I'll come to that in a second, right? But bonus, I'll go beyond just talking about the mistakes, I'll talk about what you should be doing instead, right? So that's what reading is. Reading a textbook, kind of, it just doesn't really do anything, right? So, like, what do I rub out here? I'll explain the rest of these as well, right? Along the same veins. Highlighting. Highlighting is when you read and you just highlight the important stuff, right? Well, that's, that's doing something, isn't it? I'm not just reading, I'm highlighting. I've got my pink, yellow, and blue highlighter out. I'm going to highlight and color code all of these words so that it makes me remember them. It doesn't work, okay? It doesn't, you don't remember things by highlighting them. If that worked, I could just memorize or just highlight an entire French textbook and know French, but I don't, okay? I can't do that. I do know some French, but I, that's not how I learned. I learned by talking to people. I learned by actually answering questions. I learned by doing certain things. Okay, I'll talk about that, those methods later, but highlighting wasn't one of those methods. Right? It doesn't work, right? And a phrase I like to use with this kind of stuff is, it's a phrase from this book actually, this book that I just showed you. Oh, what did he say? He said, studying that is easy, or like, oh, let, we'll, we'll stuck with this. Studying that is easy is like writing in sand. Here today and gone tomorrow. Studying that is effortful is like chiseling something out of stone. Right, it's, it's there to stay. Right? If you put effort into studying something, generally it's better for you. And the specific methods that are the most effective that I will talk about at the end of this little recording. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Summarizing seems more effortful than highlighting, right? And it seems like a good thing to do, right? But again, are you tested on your ability to do that? With all of these, right? Are you tested on your ability to read? right? No, you're not, right? Typically in an exam, you're not. Are you tested on your ability to highlight? No, you're not. Are you tested on your ability to summarize? And some of you might be thinking, oh, I am actually, I, I do like comprehension exercises and I, I do this kind of stuff. The thing is, you're not given the textbook in the exam, right? You're not given the stuff that people summarize, like I'm, I, I might be studying psychology, I might be studying physics, I might be studying biology. 
summarizing the textbook isn't what you're asked to do in the exam. You're asked to, you asked a question, here's an experiment, what's the result? What result should I expect? These kind of questions. You're not asked to, you know, you're not given some kind of like, you're not given the answers and asked to summarize the answers. You're given a question and you're asked to give an answer. Right, so summarizing doesn't help either. You think it's helping, like all these kind of pretty notes with the highlighting and colors and things like this, summarizing your notes and doing things and just, you know, writing things down. That's what you're doing. You're writing things down. But are you understanding the material? Could you teach someone else? Right? You need to be able to do that. You need to be able to bring it forth from your own brain. Okay, and so here's the bonus section of this little recording. I'll scroll down here to, to do this part. The bonus section is about, oh, I'm just thinking about if I want to do this, because someone else asked about this topic, and so I might record another one. Okay, I'll go through it briefly here, but I'll record another one for the, the other person who asked about those two methods. What they are is active recall, active recall, and spaced repetition. Repetition. I think that's how you spell it. I'm not sure. But these are the methods that you use, right? Basically, bringing something forth from your own memory without looking at the answers, right? That's the basic version. I'll go into more detail in the video for the other person, okay? Forgot what your name is, sorry. I'll, I'll say in the other video as well. But that's basically why you don't want to do these three things, okay? Reading, highlighting, and summarizing are the worst ways to study, proven by science, especially if you want some resources to look at, look at this book. You don't have to buy it, just look it up and, you know, look at a video summary if you need to. But it's a good book, though, if you want to read it. That's about it. Yeah, hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.